Hello, this is Brandon from TechWise Academy. I'm going to show you Kodu Game Lab. It is a great coding tool for children. It's a great way to learn how to code and learn some of the principles of code while making video games. I'm going to show you how to make a quick racing game just to preview what Kodu can do for you. And let's take a look. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to click on New World. Okay, when you start a new world in Kodu, you are met with a square and you can add characters to it, you can change it and do all kinds of things you want. Uh, for the purpose of a race track, we're going to erase the square and we're going to make a start and finish. Uh, we're not going to make it too huge because we want to get through this tutorial pretty quickly, but the first thing I'm going to do is go to ground brush and I'm going to hold the right mouse button to delete it. And as you can see, it is all gone now, so we can start and do whatever we want. I'm going to zoom out a little bit so we can see a little bit and I'm going to start. So I'm going to hold the left mouse button and I'm going to take my time. The more you slow down, the more complete this will look. Now, I don't want to make this boring, so we got to add some turns, right? So here we go. We're going to add a turn and it's going to be maybe a big looping turn at first. And if you get a little far away, you can use your mouse button to get a little closer. See, it got a little smaller up here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a couple of turns. Move my screen here so I can see what I'm doing. Again, the key is move slow. Now I'm going to make a hopefully a little more complicated turn because I want this to have some challenge. And let's move out a little bit and see what we got. Okay, it's an okay track. It's not huge, it's not small, it's probably just right for this. And so next, we are going to add an object. So we'll go to the object tool and we are going to click over here to drop it in there. And Cycle is probably the best for this case. So here he is. Now, he's us. And since we're TechWise Academy, we're going to make him green. Well, what you can do is you can first rotate them and point them in the right direction. So you right click and you move them. And you know, this goes on a full 360 like a circle. So we're going to move him and face him 80. 80 looks good for this world. And now he's facing the right direction. And I'm going to move my camera so you can see him a little better. And as you can see, cycle one, program or drag. We've already programmed. I'm going to drag him a little bit to the edge and I want him to move so I'm going to right click and I'm going to program and when you program you create these code blocks code with a K and they're simple when something happens do something what we want to do is when I press on the keyboard arrows I want him to move and since this is a race I want him to move quickly that's all we need to do right now he is now going to move quickly when I press the keyboard. Now, there he is. If I were to start this game, the camera's going to move. Now he's moving as I am pressing, but oh man, this is the slowest race we've ever seen, right? So we want to speed him up. You can right click, change settings. We're going to make him faster. I don't want to make him too terribly fast. You'll have to play with this because you never really know. Um, but if you make him too fast, hard to control and, and we're making a simple game so there's no breaking or anything now I change it if I test it again he's gonna move a lot quicker <laughs> almost too quick for me oh there we go now mission accomplished right it got to the end well it's no fun if you're not racing anybody, right? So next, we're going to add another cycle. So we're going to go stay in the object tool. I'm going to click, and I'm going to add another cycle. I'm going to drag him to make sure he's as even as possible. And remember what we did the first time? We're going to change his color. I'm going to make him red, because he's a bad guy. I'm going to rotate him, facing the same direction as the other one. We want to make this race even. Now look at him. They're ready to go, aren't they? But 
here is the thing. He does not know where to go. So we need to create a path. The path tool is right next to him. And what you can do is drop nodes for him to go. Now the cool thing is, is you can go as far as you want or as short as you want. So I'm going to move this around and you want to give him a path. Now this path is exactly what it sounds like. It is just a way to tell the computer how to follow along your track. And there's different kinds of paths you can play with. So, um, you know, you can play with those on your own time and see what different paths do. So I got a lot of different nodes because I want to make sure that he is good to go. Now he has a path. And it's, we're going to leave it white for now. And that is fine. I'm going to move the camera back to him. What I'm going to do is object tool. And I'm going to make him follow the path. And I always want him to do that. I don't want him to not ever follow the path. Um, so here we go. We don't need to say when because we always want him to do something. So we're going to say do. We're going to say move. And we're going to say on path. Now you can, set, you can set colors for your paths and that's where that's important, but since we didn't, it's not a problem. We're going to say move quickly. So he is always going to move the path. If I started this game right now, he does a nice little spin move and there he goes. But it's not a very good race. So I am going to right click him and I'm going to also make him fast. But I want to make it a little bit challenging, so I'm going to make him maybe a little faster. But maybe he's not as good at the turns or you know, as fast on the turns. Uh, maybe he accelerates pretty good, but I want him to be challenging. So if I tell him to go now, there he goes. Oh, he's confused. <laughs> there he goes. So you have a little bit of uh, troubleshooting to do. There he goes. He's just, he is gaining so much speed that he is bouncing off walls and spinning in circles and that's fine so we probably need to change the settings we're gonna make him slow down a little bit we're gonna slow down his turn speed but maybe to make it challenging he can really move fast and we're gonna make sure our speeds are the same so I'm gonna slow down my speed we gotta make it challenging though because we're smarter than the computer now this is all great. If we were to race now, here we go. He's following along. We got some troubleshooting to do on our path. Oh, I got caught right there. Got to edit our world. And I'm at the end, but the game's not over. But first, I'm going to make the world a little bit easier to turn. Right there. And right there. A path, right? Our path was having problems. So you can drag the node to make him a little bit more um, fluid in his driving. And that's what we're doing. That's all. Just making this a little easier. Now, we need to add a finish line, so to speak. We're just going to go to a place. I'm going to drop it here, and I want him to drive to the star. Okay, this star, not very big, so we need to change this size. Let's make this size 3. What we want to do is program the star when bumping and this is why it was important to set colors when I bump the green cycle I want the game to say you're a winner but if we bump the red cycle which hopefully we don't it's game over we don't win Let's see how this works. Can we beat the computer? 
as you can see, his turning is better. We just made those little edits and that debug. Oh, I hit him. <laughs> There's no rules. There's no rules. Oh, no. I didn't correct that spot. He might catch up. He's not. Oh, no. I got stuck again. And now we are the winner. So I can go back and edit this world. I think we have a couple of little edits to make, you know, if we... Um, want to make this a little more even and not so many spots where you kind of get stuck which is fine but remember um, when you make edits then you might want to make edits to your path just to um, make it a little bit more um, fair I guess to make the race and the game a little more challenging for instance we don't need to make him <laughs> go so far out so if I were to play this again I'm going to kind of let him win. Try not to hit him this time. He's struggling a little bit, as I am. Keep it close. Make him think he's got a chance. See, now they follow the path pretty close. So you want to spend some time fixing it. Now he is stuck. Nope, he's going, he's going. He's going to get there. And I lost. So we made a very simple racing game. Took about 10, 12 minutes. Um, you're going to learn how to do this in our classes, and I would love to see your games when you are finished. Now, the things you can do to this is you can adjust the world a little bit. You can make some hills. You can make some other barriers. You can make other players play with different paths. Um, I really encourage you to do that. I'm excited to see the stuff that you do, and you know, thank you for watching. Have a great day.